Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks so much for talking by, I do appreciate it. Uh, today's beer, we're going to do another one from Frost Beer Works. These guys are out of Vermont. This is their Double Shush. Uh, <coughs> double IPA. Coming in at 8%, I think. Yep, 8%. Uh, and they're in Hinesburg, Vermont. Uh, and on the bottom here... It says it was put in the can on 0324 of 21, March 24th. So, uh, still fairly fresh, uh, about a month old. Uh, so, uh, these guys are doing some tasty stuff. Uh, a lot of the breweries up in New England are doing very tasty stuff. So, uh, uh, very impressed with what's coming out of that part of the country. So, uh, there's a whole lot of breweries up there. That if you're in that vicinity, uh, traveling or live there, a uh, lot of good places to stop and pick up some really tasty stuff. So, uh, we'd like to get there one day. Maybe I will. I don't know. We shall see. Anyway, uh, over to Untap, we have 30 IBUs according to what they're saying. And it looks like a very cloudy, hazy beer. It looks like a New England style from the pictures I'm seeing here. Uh, shush scaled up into an Imperial IPA, which would be their double shush, which is what we have here. A rousing beer with pronounced citrus and hints of spice. So, uh, we got the ABV, we got the IBUs, we got the Candon date. There we go. Big plain 12, about 16 ounce. Plain Jane Silver Can with a stick on wrap around labels and they pretty much, from what I've seen so far, use the same type of label which doesn't hurt my feelings a bit. I'd rather have a label like this and a bunch of garbled up stuff that you can't read like we did the other day and I got called out on the carpet for fussing about that but yeah, it's what it is. I like to be able to read instead of trying to decipher what they're trying to tell me. Uh, but anyway, I digress. All right, that's about all we're going to get in there right now. About a finger and a half of head on that pour. Yeah, buddy. Uh, not quite the bright orange juice color. Maybe a dirty orange juice color on this one. Very cloudy, very hazy. Not hardly any light coming through it whatsoever. A good looking New England style beer. To the nose we go. Oh yeah. Nice citrusy notes. Maybe a little bit of orange or nectarine in there. It may even be some uh, peaches in there too. That's pretty good. Looks good too. Let's find out. Cheers everybody. Yeah, a little bit of spicy notes in there, too. I don't know what that's from. It doesn't tell us what hops they've used on this beer. Whether they've used any Southern Hemisphere hops to get some of that spicy notes, or, or what they've done there. The oranges and maybe nectarines are standing out prominent in the nose to me. Nice citrusy, very smooth, easy drinking for an 8%er. Yeah, it very nice. Very nice beer. Fairly impressed with what Frost Beer Works is producing. Uh, very, very tasty stuff that they are putting together. So, 
We'll swirl this swirl one more time, get the back end pour out of the can. Very nice looking beer, very nice tasting beer. Uh, like I said, impressive stuff coming out of that brewery. So if you can get uh, yeah, in their neck of the woods, uh, and I don't know how far they distribute it. I mean, I bought this here in Virginia, so they've got a pretty big distribution foot. If I'm getting them in Virginia and they're in Vermont, so uh, I don't know how far out uh, they're going. So you may be able to pick this up. Uh, evidently, they uh, have got a good distribution going on uh, up there for them. So. Uh, Check it out if you can get your hands on it. So it's right out of the fridge, guys. Let's go sip on it for a little while, and then we'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sipping on it well over an hour. Uh, nice icing, decent icing that's left on the glass. It's a tasty beer, guys. I mean, it's a, a very tasty beer. Uh, I don't think it's world class or outstanding. And if you say it is, I wouldn't argue with that. Uh, very tasty to me. It all depends on where your palate is. I looked at a video that I did ten years ago uh, on a beer and. Uh, and it was like a 7.2% uh, uh, IPA and uh, basically blew, blew my hair back on my socks off. I mean, I was telling people to be careful with it because it was 7.2%. I mean, those are go-to beers for me now uh, where they were not so much back then. It was hard to find uh, 7, 8, 9, 10 percent beers back then unless you went to a, an Imperial Stout or a Porter. There wasn't a whole lot of uh, uh, big beers back then, uh, at, around here anyway. So uh, it all depends on what you're used to drinking, what you'd like to drink, and where your palate is. Uh, or do you think something's boozy or not? Uh, uh, it's all relative or subjective. Uh, uh, to what you're accustomed to drinking. It's like, I mean, if you're used to drinking Budweiser, I mean, you're probably going to think bourbon is way too harsh. So it all depends on what you're accustomed to drinking and what you like to drink and, and where your palate is. Uh, to, to, to think what's boozy and what's not boozy. So it's all relative, guys. Uh, it all depends on what you're after and what you like to drink. So don't base on what you're going to buy, what this old man says. Uh, try different stuff if you so choose to. Uh, you may find something you like and, you, and along the way you're going to find stuff that you don't like just like I have. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's an adventure, it's a travel, it's a trip. Uh, it's, uh, to me, it's a pleasure to taste different stuff uh, that not only that I can get around here there's a whole lot more beers that are available now uh, around here depending on where you go to buy them. Of course the beer store is going to have more than Kroger's or Walmart or any of that stuff. Uh, but there are just so many breweries out there now, craft breweries uh, as opposed to what was available 10, 12 years ago. And they and those breweries are doing better beers. I mean, it comes with experience and, and time and, and, and all that. So uh, as opposed to 10, 12 years ago, we have a lot more options and beers to try and different types of beers to try. So. If you're into trying different stuff, you have a lot more stuff nowadays than you did back then. So, there's a lot of people, I drink this beer and that's the only beer I drink and that's the way it's going to be and whatever. <laughs> I don't live on myself like that. I mean, uh, there was a time that I did. Uh, this is all, I only drink Budweiser and that's what I want. If you ain't got it, I ain't drinking nothing else. I mean, that's a very closed mind. Try something else. You might like it better than what you've been drinking. If you don't, I mean, you don't have to drink it anymore. <laughs> don't buy it again. Uh, good beer, tasty beer, found a chug. Very nice. Very well done. I call it well hidden. A nice double IPA in the New England style. I enjoyed this.
very tasty. You may see it again. Said I was, I'm impressed with the uh, Frost Beer Works. Uh, they're doing some really tasty stuff. Uh, I have uh, I've done three or four of their their beers now, and uh, all of them have been pretty tasty. So, to me, guys, uh, date on it, ABV is on it, 92 for me. It's a very tasty beer. Over to Beer Advocate, they say, ha, 92, imagine that. And over to Untap, they have it at 4.15, and that's about the same. So, it's pretty unanimous, A minus beer from all three, uh, me and both those sites. So, uh, pretty tasty beer. Enjoy it. So if you've had double shush shush from Frost Beer Works, let me know what you think. To me, meet again. Let's go see what's in the fridge.